Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. Violet's not with me, and I turned the interior light on in the van, but there's a person parked across from me, diagonal, a guy in a truck, and he's he's already looking. I'm just like, back off, busta. Anyways, I'm in town. It's the same night as the night I canned those beans, so it's still Thursday, compost day, yes. But it's in the evening. It's almost 8 o'clock. Marquise is going in to visit with a friend or something like that. And I'm dropping him off. I'm not picking him up. So, anyways, I'm stopped at the Irving. He's getting a phone charger or something like that. But, anyways, I just thought I'd start because I'm sitting out here to uh, wait for him. And I'm going to listen to my terror book, the Dan Simmons one, on the way home. So, anyways, yeah, there's a book in here. Things fall apart. Marquise had to read that last year. I started reading it last year, too, just to read it. And it seems pretty advanced. I don't know. I just, I was surprised. Um, but Kara's reading it this year, apparently. I have the audiobook of it, too, actually. So, anyways, I'll be back. I just thought I'd check in, if you can see me. I know it's dark, but I can't be having no creeps peeking in on me. Yeah. Well, the Irving had chargers, but they're like $26. I'm like, just get it at the Dollarama. Just get it at the Dollarama. So that's what he's doing. And then I'll drop him off. So, yeah. Oh, and I was over to Saritha's this evening. I had a little visit with her, not long. But um, I'm going in town tomorrow morning. So I'm going to look for some deals. I'm going to pick up her, her um, not prescriptions, groceries. I'll drop... The girls off of school but yeah I haven't been to town like for deal shopping maybe one time this week so that'll be good and it was nice to visit with her and then I'll drop the stuff off when I get back to town and it's Friday tomorrow so we'll see what it's supposed to what else we can get up to I'll probably get that deer down in the basement that I washed today well, you would have seen in my last video, I washed my jars of deer that I canned up. And I can give my jars of beans a rinse. And get those. Oh, shoot. He's already in the store. I should have told him to get some Sharpies. Because that corn I canned the other day, that's still not even labeled. It's washed and put down in the basement, but it's not labeled. I would just put, like, September 21. September 21. All right, here he comes. Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. Oh, for Pete's sake. It's Friday morning. Happy Friday, everybody. i got to flip you guys around. All right. Oh, you can't see. You'll have to wait till it's lighter. But Old Green is laying right there. It was compost day yesterday. Standing up. It was emptied, as far as I know. But it's still tipped over. There must have been some little bit left. Oh gosh, it's like quarter after six. We're just going for a little outing. You still can't see, really. Yeah. I gotta fix, at least stand them up, Violet. I gotta at least stand them up. Chin up there, Va. Chin up. All right, friends, we're back. I had to pack the kids' lunches. I didn't even pack it a little bit last night, so starting to fall off that wagon. I need to pull myself back up and get on the ball. But I made my coffee. I'm going to have half of it. Then I need to go get the kids up. But yeah, it's still dark out. Well, darker. <sighs> Come this time next month, it'll be even darker. It'll probably be dark when the kids catch the bus, hard to say. But anyways, I'm going to have my coffee because I want it. I want to stick my face in it, but I'm not going to, but I will drink it. And yeah, we need to go to town today. I need to take Saritha's car. Did I tell you in this video or yesterday? I don't know. Last night I stayed up. I did three videos for my tea time with Tracy. I did a book haul one. I did a book chat one. And I did the past couple of days I had been doing my this vlog like with you guys because I hang out with you guys every day over on Tea Time with Tracy I try to get a video up once or twice a week more if I could but 
you know, I'm, I've come to realize some more regular with vlogging, checking in. So I tried one of those reading vlogs where you read a bit of the book and you check in and then you go about your day and you check in, just don't really tell you, tell everybody like what the book's about, but just your feelings on it and stuff. So I took bits and pieces from the past couple of days, fast paced it to music and then put my little check-ins in regards to my books. And anyways, long story short, it was a half hour video. I uploaded it and it's scheduled to post October 1st. Yeah, so I need to do a couple more edits because I want to get one of those videos up today, probably the book chat one. And I want to go to, yeah, i got to go to town, take Saritha's car, pick up her groceries. I'll pick up some deals if I can find some. Drop Mally off. Come back out. Depending on if I find anything good in town will depend on if I use something from town for supper or take something out of the freezer here. And, yeah, but stop talking, Tracy. Drink your coffee because all heck's about, about to break loose when the kids get up. And it's Friday and their lunches are packed. And, yeah, yeah. Wait, I just brought a garbage bag out. <sighs> Go run around, Violet, for goodness sakes. Go get Zaya. Start jumping up and down or something, Zaya, so she sees you. Go get her. Go get her. <laughs> run around while you can because I'm not running around today come on oh, I should have worn my sneakers the grass is wet <laughs> come on there get going maybe just run around the flower bush go get her Go get her. <laughs> oh, dad's golf ball. <sighs> she... My bum's going to get wet on this chair, probably. Maze looks so fly in his outfit. Don't, yeah, don't throw that golf ball. I don't need her inhaling that by mistake. You know what I mean. You got something on your cheek. I sneeze four times outside and four times. I sneeze way more times at school. Did you? He does. Well, that happens. Make sure you cover your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I found something's floating in the air. Violet, stay here. I know. Is it a caterpillar or a stick? It should be a cocoon. It looks like it's a bug. Yeah, I know. What is it? Yeah, it's soft, so it's not a... It's like a stick bug of some sort. No, it's not a cocoon. You see the little legs. Yeah, I see it. I saw is but, it dead? No, I don't know. We'll just leave it alone. Don't throw anything. I love it. Mazai is not the biggest fan of bugs. Butterflies I can deal with. Yeah. We'll just leave them alone, but yeah. Interesting. Maybe it's a, a type of caterpillar that turns into a butterfly. Maybe. That well, might be weird. We'll we'll see if it. That what? Might be um one of those green caterpillars. Mmm, the big fat ones. What they are? They're yeah. like giant. No, they're tiny green ones. Oh, the tiny ones. I was talking about those big grub kind of ones. <laughs> Violet. Watch her. She's gonna. All right, bus, come on. All right, here it comes. Come on, Bob. No, this Kleenex is awful of yuck. I got a bunch in your front pouch. Love ya, have a good day at school, girls. You too, Maze. Violet wants to go. There he goes.
wave to the girls. May sits on the other side of the bus, but. There they go. All right, we gotta go wake up Mally. Ow, sugar. We gotta get on with our day, Violet. Yes, we do. All right. Well, Mally's up, I'm ready to rock. It's about quarter to eight. I'm walking over to Saritha's house because I'm taking her car to town. Because her car's good, but it, the battery goes dead because she, she doesn't drive really anymore. But it's not, if it doesn't get driven enough, the battery goes dead. So, and I guess it's parked behind the house, whoever drove it last. I said, well, I can take the van. She was like, no, take my car. I said, okay, I'm getting her groceries. I'll get my deals if there's any to be had. And she hasn't parked all the way over here. God, Saritha, off roading. So it's her kitchen is right there. Like, so it's easier, I guess, when I come back, I'll park here and just bring it up to the step. Bet you this door's locked. And it's not the kind with the key fob. There. Oh, there's Ann and Elliot coming. All right, look at this sports car. Oh, yes. We're going to cruise to town. All right, we're at the Tim Hortons drive through The line's not too bad. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he has a dog. No, he has two. Does, oh, is that the guy with the two dogs? Yeah, there's a guy that walks um, or rides a bi he bike sometimes. Him. Yeah, and he, he just takes his time and he has two big dogs. I don't know what kind of dogs they are. But they just follow along like his companions. That's his family. I think it's awesome. Yeah, there they go. All right, we made it to Superstore. There's quite a few cars here for it just opening. They better not be getting all the deals, for goodness sakes. Oh, somebody left a shopping bag behind. It's a good one, too. I like the Sobeys ones. No offense to the other stores, but I like the Sobeys ones. God, this one looks all... Gross. But I'll leave it there, because it's not mine. See what we can find. There's some lettuce. There was a salad back there. Oh, here's some celery. I might get some of that. Some herbs. Zucchini, but it's kind of mushy. I won't bother. She has a 50% off roller, a lort. Then some apples. I need some potatoes. I'll probably buy a bag. How much are these ones? $4.99 regular. $2.50 a bag. Red potatoes. How much is that one? White potatoes. Peppermints. Oh, I should get a couple of those for the kids this winter. Bean boozled. Mm. There's some baguette bread. And three cheese. Let's see what else. That guy over there. I know, I won't show his face, but he's here every time I'm here in the morning. Like, I think he's a deal shopper. I swear to God, every time I come here, he's here. And he's always looking at the sales things, too. So we always give each other, like, an eye stare, a friendly one. And then just nod, like, hi, how you do? Hello, mother flipper. Hey, hi, how you doing? All right. Not a whole lot on the... There's some buns. It's those bum buns, too, the ones that you pull apart that looks like bum cheeks. 
Yeah. There's some of those hams. Oh, that guy's putting more stuff on the bakery tray. Oh, some of those cheese things. Cheese swirls. Those feel pretty soft. What are they? I don't know what they are. I don't know. Okay. Let's go see. I'm not seeing all the stickers that I, I like to see there. There's one up there, but look at that little steak, regular 1370. And it's one. There's a bunch of chicken there, but not marked down. This little, as big as my hand, 450. So even marked down, like that's not acceptable behavior. What? No, I don't see. Oh, I see something. Let's see if that guy gets it. Whole cut up chicken tray pack. Mm. Oh, some of those chicken wings. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. Maze has got that song stuck in my head. I have chicken wings at home, but I might get some for the freezer. Like, I got some in the freezer already. But we really like them. And that's a pretty good price. Especially marked down. Hmm. Oh, and of course they have ground chicken. But, no thank you. Oh, there's a hodgepodge. I wonder if they refilled it. I see some things. I'll see. some cake mixes. I have a few extra cake mixes at home so I won't bother. But oh, those are three for three dollars. Oh they're the watermelon kind. No that's not the kind. Well that is the kind but uh, this brand I think my husband got some and it was like coconut something and it was really good. Has that been opened? That's been open. Somebody put that up there. Oh. The lady just brought those, those Tim Hortons bars and those little Nutella things, but um, no peanuts allowed in school, but that would have been a perfect little lunch treat. I got some stuff. Not as many deals as I'd like, but I got some. I was in here longer than I wanted to be, too, but i got to remember, I have Saritha's car, not the van, so I'm not looking for the van. Oh, I see Violet. So I'll have to come back here for Saritha's um, groceries, but I'll do that after I drop Mally off, because it's not time yet. We're back at Superstore. We dropped Mally off. Violet's about to have a cow whining and stuff. She's like, what's going on? Why are we back here? You're not going in the store, are you? What's your issue? Need a tissue? Mm. Anyways, I just called. You have to call a number and then say you're here for so-and-so's groceries. What aisle you're in or what slot and they'll bring them out. But the trunk of the car is full of my stuff. So, Violet, why don't you come up here? And then I can use the back seat of the car for her stuff. You're not getting on my lap. Thank you. <laughs> so, anyways, don't violet cheapers. She's trying to get on my lap. Yeah, she is. Yeah, so I'm just waiting on them and then we'll go home. It's like quarter after nine. I'm a little longer than I thought I was going to be in town, to be honest, but no big deal. No big deal. And... Yeah, I want to get that deer meat down in the basement. Wash my bean jars. Oh, I did pick up Sharpies. I did stop to the dollar store, and I did get Sharpies, thank goodness, because I got corn to label, beans to label, deer to label. And, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to listen to the audiobook, the Dan Simmons Terror one, 
on the way home. I have to catch Violet up because she hasn't been following it as much as I've been listening to it. But she'll be good. She'll be good. All right, they brought over groceries, but no, you're not jumping back there, Violet. There was no bags. <laughs> so I said, just put it in there. I know she has bags at her house. So when I go there, I'll just bring her bags out and load up her groceries and bring them in the house and then unload her bags. All right. I stopped at our house, dropped our groceries off, and they're just sitting on the kitchen floor. I left Violet there. Came over here, brought her stuff in. Her worker is still here, so she helped put some stuff away. And then I'll go over and do our stuff. But it's 10.03 in the morning. Violet's probably ticked off at me because I didn't bring her over, but I just, this wasn't a visit kind of thing. It was a business sort of thing, so. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see if she's gonna give me the stank eye. All right, friends, I've been busy. It's 20 after 10. I took, I finally have my table back. Exciting. I took all the beans off and the rings off are in the dishwasher now. I'm gonna wash those jars after and label them and put them in the basement, but they're in a laundry basket. So I'll show you what I got at the superstore, then I'll show you what I got at the dollar store. So I did get four packs of those chicken wings. Those are going right in the freezer because chicken wings are expensive. Actually, what, like 15, 15, that's pretty good. But to get that 50% off, it's even better. So 15, 50, 15, 39, 15, 61, and 14, uh, 59. So those will go all in the freezer and I'll use those for, and I'd cook all four of these if I was doing it for a supper because the kids love them, love them. And these are good ones. Um, I did get a thing of buns we'll have tonight with whatever I make for supper, regular $3.99 thing of those red potatoes I got three of those bean boozled I said for winter but I was thinking like when the kids have sleepovers like if Mally has a sleepover I'll give her one to do with her friend Maziah has a sleepover Misha has a sleepover you know what I mean Maze is really too young to have people stay over I think but you know he could take part whatever I got some Michelinas I don't buy these very often but they were on for 99 cents I got it assorted like there's two chicken fried rice two general Tao chicken chicken penne or something like just it'll be a quick snack lunch whatever this weekend or whenever just just to have I got four things of 50% off broccoli we're gonna have that tonight with cheese I grated cheese yesterday broccoli and cheese and buns and whatever else I make um, I got some celery because the kids love celery I got two things of fresh bagels these suckers were still warm sitting on the shelf three dollars each they Weren't 50% off, but my kids are animals and they will eat bagels like nobody's business if I have cream cheese. And I still have cream cheese, so I got bagels. I got two things of waffles, just plain. I got these bear paws. Um, they're ba chocolate banana for lunches, regular $3.49. So just for a treat in their lunch or something like that when they go to school. They'll try it. They've never had that kind. And then I got some pizza pouches for an easy lunch. I also got a case of diet lemonade out in the porch and diet ginger ale. So, yeah, yeah, this is what I got at Superstore. So I'll put this away and then I'll get out my Dollarama stuff. All right, what I got at the dollar store? I got some chips for this weekend because it's the weekend. I got some ketchup chips, some Tostito Rams. That's what the kids took in their lunch today. Some of this and some salsa and like cheese string and stuff. But they really, really were excited about it. So I got another bag. This will be for like lunches next week. Some salt and vinegar chips, some plain chips. And I even got Violet some chips. But it's a dog toy. It's a bag of chips and it crinkles. It's four dollars. She doesn't need any more toys, but they had like salt and vinegar. They had other flavors, but of course this is not really chips. It's just one of those crinkly toys that looks like a bag of chips. I'm going to put it out on the shelf in the laundry room with the other chips. So when the kids go to get it, they'll be like, what is this? Just as a joke. I got myself some of these gloves. You sometimes see me wearing gloves and um, I just wanted to get some new ones. Um, I got Violet some of these long leashes. I'll tie them together, and that's what her tether is outside. I need to get something better, but these are $1.75 each. I got those little Kleenex packs. Maze uh, could use one because, yeah, 
he likes to use his sleeves and that's not acceptable. So some of those. I got some of this lotion. I got Mazaya some of this the other day and it smells so good. Um, she really likes it. And when I was at the dollar store, um, they only had one of those there. So I'm like, I'm snatching that. I'll just put that away till she needs more body lotion and she can have that one. I got some more extra toothbrushes, uh, two boxes of fruit snacks for their lunches. I got this just for my bag. Um, it's gum, Mentos. I got Mally three Gatorades for next week. She takes one to school with her. I got some Sharpies finally, and I got some plastic spoons. So, yeah, I'm tired of losing my spoons when I send them to school. So we're going to do that for now, and we'll see how that works out. But, but I, I, yeah, I didn't get as much stuff as I usually do at Superstore and stuff, but I got I got enough stuff. So now I'm going to put this stuff away. <sighs> All right, guys. <laughs> I just did a, a mini book haul because when, when we went to town this morning, I checked the mailbox. And I buy most of my books secondhand. So some of them come to the door. Some of them come to my personal mailbox or, you know, rural road mailbox. And I just did a little blip of a book haul. Oh, for my tea time with Tracy and Violet. But it is 10.57. I took out, I'll show you when I go out in the kitchen, but I'm just taking a break now. I took out um, those pre-made hamburger patties. Like, they're fresh hamburger. They're not, like, some company. They're fresh made hamburger patties that I froze. I think there's six in the pack, so that's not enough for everybody. But I'm going to do the broccoli and cheese. I'll do six hamburgers. I have... It's going to be a smorgasbord, okay? I have one Delicio pizza, and I have a bag of tater tots. Because the other day, last week or the week before, I made three tater tot casseroles for the deep freezer. And I just bought an extra bag. I actually bought two extra bags, so there's still one in the freezer. But um, I might do up tater tots, and they can just have some tater tots, broccoli, and cheese. Some might want pizza. Some might want a hamburger. And the ro rolls. That's what we're going to do for supper. It's Friday, so we can do whatever the heck we want to do, and that's what I want to do. But anyways, Violet's here with her pink poodle cuddled up like a good mama she is. And I'm going to read. It's 10.59. I'm going to give myself to 11.30 before I have to get up and do anything. So I can just have a little break because it seems like I've been on the go all morning. I haven't, well... I haven't accomplished a whole lot. I did go to town and get that stuff. And I did take those jars off the table, but I still need to wash them. And that deer meat needs to go down in the basement. Yeah. But I'm going to get Marquise to bring that down when he comes. I'm not carrying all that. But anyways, I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, I made it to page 35. It's about quarter to 12 now, so read about 35, 40 minutes. Uh, chapter three, but I'm going to edit a couple of videos that I did last night and get those going. And, um, Marquise is downstairs fixing himself something to eat, but I want to at least get one video up. Those videos for a tea time with Tracy and Violet are much easier. Like there's not so many clips. It's usually one or two clips and then that's it. Um, so I can do that and get that uploaded and then, yeah, get on with the day. All right. It's almost one o'clock, like five to one. I got one video uploading, one vi video exporting. And yeah, so I haven't really done a whole lot, um, but I did do a lot of digital stuff. So... Uh, I'm taking another break because it's Friday. I did talk to my husband. He is coming home tonight, but he's going back tomorrow. He's just coming down for one one sleep. So that'll be good. The kids will be excited to see him. It was kind of up in the air whether he was going to come or not. But he is going to come. Um, so I'm going to give myself another little bit. Maybe get to page 50. And then I'll have another 50 pages. Um, I want to try to get to page 100 tonight, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, it's 20 to 2. 
I'm going to start working on this stuff. So I accidentally left these out, out in the porch on top of the freezer, so they're partially defrosted. I'm going to get these in the oven right away. Have the oven preheating. Maybe I don't. I don't think I do. No, I don't. I have to bring it up to 450. Um, I'm going to get those going. And I might actually do the hamburgers in the oven, like bake them. I've never baked. I've baked like meatloaf. I've baked, you know, meatballs. But I really don't feel like digging out George. George Foreman Grill. Don't want a barbecue. Don't want to dirty a frying pan. I'm going to try to do it in the oven <clears throat> and see how it turns out. And, yeah, I took these out of the freezer this morning, too. 50, 50. That broccoli we're having today is 50. So, you know. But I'm going to get these in. Then I'm going to get these on this pan and get that in, too. I might put it in all at the same time. I know I probably wouldn't have to cook that on 450, though. So maybe I'll wait till these are done. Then I'll stick those in. Oh, all right, that oven is still preheating. Those hamburger patties were still half frozen, so I put them on the cookie sheet, put them in the oven while the oven's preheating. When it's heated up, I'm going to take them out and put the tater tots in. I just thought it'll give it a bit of a bump to defrost all the way. Just made myself a coffee. I'm going to sit down, but I have four bags of this broccoli. I was going to break out my steamers, but I can do those right in the bag. I think the last time I got them, I, it says on the bag you can do that. And I did it, and it was it was fine. Um, I think you just poke holes and stick it in the microwave. Pierce bag with sharp knife. Place on microwave safe plate. Microwave on high, two and a half minutes, then let stand for two minutes. Carefully remove from microwave. Caution bag will be hot. Cut open with caution because steam will release. Toss with olive oil or butter or salt and pepper and serve. Well, how about dump it out and pour some cheese on it? That's what I'm doing. And I have four bags to do that, so I'll wait. I'm not going to do that now because it won't get, take too long. And whether I do that pizza or not, we'll see. Maybe. I could do that the same time I do those burgers because that's not a big pan. I might do that. I took out those um, tater tots, moved them around, and stuck them back in for another 15. This is what the things looked like after they were in the oven while it was preheating. And I'll probably dump that blood off and stick it back in. Along with this pizza, it goes in at 400. The oven's at 450 now. So when I take those tater tots out, I'll bump the heat down. I'm going to stick the pizza in on top, the hamburgers on the bottom, just in case they drip. They shouldn't, but just in case. This goes at... Yeah, 400, and I'll just bake the hamburgers. I'll probably have to flip them over, and I'll start working on that broccoli.
since I had my coffee. I'm still half asleep. I've been working on that broccoli actually. It's a little early, but I just want to do it while I have the energy to do it. Come on, sister. Come on. The timer's on for 15 minutes. The kids should be home any minute now. Oh. All right. There's a bunch of recycle bags that need to go over to the garbage bin. I might get the kids to do that. Actually, I throw it on the back of Marquise's old truck so it doesn't take up the space in the garbage bin. Oh. It's quite warm outside. It seems warmer outside than it does inside. I'm going to get her situated with a couple of those long things. All right, Violet, what do you think? Hmm? I hear the bus coming. Then they can let you off and you can go run around. Yeah, I've made it to page 67. Oh, this is the card I'm using. I love this card. Oh, from my cousin uh, Jill and her husband Mark and their children, uh, Olivia and Charlie. All right, let's see how they made out on a Friday. Here they come. Oh, Maze doesn't have a sweater on. That's okay. You made some money today? I made $19. You made $19? Yeah. Oh, careful. Is that to be divided up uh, with your friends, though? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not keeping it off. No. Wow. I did get a new long leash. You can undo her leash so she doesn't end up breaking her neck. <laughs> She's shaking it. How was school, Bob? Good. That's good. Someone... It gave us a lot of money when just buying like two bracelets and a was it a grown-up what a grown-up no it was actually just one of the kids who had like a whole briefcase full of cents just oh well what may misha the black one around her and you can just leave that hooked up to the outside leash because i got another one run around yes yes not me go <laughs> Ooh, run, Zaya, run! Run, Zaya, run! <laughs> Did you go to the no, store today? For what? No. This thing no. that you said you were going to get for my throat. Watch her run oh, I have some cough drops here. Or, like, sore throat. Oh, she did go over there. She, she always does that. I know. No, don't go over there. She's coming back up. Oh, uh, was she? Well, we'll see. Violet's going to go that way. Oh, she, here she comes. She's or she's. She well, she might have a poop because she didn't have one this morning. Oh, yeah. FYI. Yeah. Where are you going, Violet? You're going crazy. <laughs> oh, back around the house. She went back around the house. I know, she's going to go around, but good for her to get a good run. Oh, she's having a poop. Yay! Everybody poops, Mish. <laughs> okay! <laughs> she had two sausages. She had two sausages. Oh, Maze. Violet! Violet, simmer down. Slobber. Oh my good. Violet Anastasia, that's not very ladylike. Oh. Misha's going down to pick up that poop. She wanted to try to do it. Huh? What's that paper? Did people like your fingernails? Yeah. Yeah? Did they think it was cool? Yeah, because it's different people. Oh. Oh, picture day. It's on Monday. we got to give your hair another buzz. Picture day is coming. have to give your hair another buzz. Uh, it's this coming Sept Monday after. September 2020, 2021. Yes. Yeah. 
that's the announcement. So picture day. You can stick that in your book bag. Don't let it fly away. But anyways, I need to go in and check that stuff in the oven. All right. Having a cold frosty lemon iced tea. The kids want some cheese on their ha um, tater tots. Yum. And that's all the cheese I have left. So I'm busting out my food processor. Hey. What do you say? Oh, I get it. Misha, remember what I told you. What do you say? This. Mm. Do I show, can I show them the money? Yeah. Um, Mazai's been making bracelets, her and her friends. And they sell them. And they divide the... Look at that. 14. Bring it home to Mama. <laughs> You'll have to make some and show these guys at some point. Like make a few and before you sell them so I can show them because I'm sure they would like to see. Well, I want to buy one. Okay, well, I'm going to grate this cheese is what I'm going to do. All right, done. Um, I took the pizza out. That was done. The hamburgers were not done, but I flipped them over and put them back in for about another 20 minutes, and we'll see. And then when those come out, I'll put some cheese on the hash browns, stick the broiler on for three minutes, and the cheese will melt, and that'll be done. So, yeah, it's still only early. It's, uh, what time is it? It is not even 3 o'clock. Oh, it is 3.01. So, yeah, it's not supper time yet. I just, like I say, doing it when I can do it. Take that oh, violet hamburger out. Ooh, it's hot. I think it needs a little almost done. I'll flip them over Hi. again. Uh -huh. Here you go. What is it? Here you go. Hey, we're switching lives for 24 hours. What is it? We're switching lives for 24 hours. We're switching lives for 24 hours? Yeah. Oh, good. Now you have to do the dishes and the laundry and feed the children and but you have to play with my vessels for three hours well it doesn't i don't mind that uh, johan this is hot he gave me this and and we gotta switch to go lights to for i have to go to school i would gladly go back to elementary school i would rock that place i'm telling you don't they even mark people with grades like that do they yeah, they must be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a, I get, I got a couple of another gumball. Oh. Yeah, these I would say. Oh, Actually, I might just cut one open to see. I don't want you eating a bloody hamburger if you didn't ask for one. Right? Yeah. Are you going to have any pizza maze or are you just having hamburger? Pizza. I don't want hamburger. Yeah, this is still, you don't want a hamburger, okay. Yeah, these hamburgers, um, they're thick and dense. Is that a thing? I'm going to cut, I know, that's horrifying to let the juices, but it's still running paint a little bit. I'm going to put it back in. Just, I know if they take a bite out of it and it's pink, we'll send it back. It's not done. I'll make it done all right. Maze. Right? I'll put another fitting. Is it done now? Almost. Have a bagel. I got some bagels. Oh my gosh. You didn't even see them over there. Where? They're over there. Where? Use your eyes, eyes, not your elbows. Right. Yeah, right there. She didn't even see them. That's a lot of stages. I didn't get more cream cheese, but I think but we still have some. We have like two. Oh, well, we have two? Oh, jeez. Well, we're just about out then. What? Two, <laughs> Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to go unload my phone again, so editing later on won't be so, so much. What's that the lights? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh. I have to the last in two days. Hot. Okay, I'm opening the oven, so. Back off. Ow, that's the uh, bad back. I would say those are done. So, yes, they are. Yeah. Mains, are you going to have some tater tots? No. No, what? They don't have cheese on them yet. Oh, uh, what's in there? 
They're they just like french fries, only like little pull-ups. Like, but better. Yeah. Like those chicken pops from KFC. Yes. Do you want any? Yes or no? Just try one and see. They're not overly hot now, but I'm going to put cheese on it and put it back in the oven for a few minutes. What? There's burgers. Yes. I don't want any cheese on your Okay, I'll take some up for you right now. Because I love ya. Oh. These taste so good. Do they? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you like them. Oh. Um. No, I don't want to use that because I flipped the burgers with that. Well, for crying out loud. This one. I'll take some out for you. And watch out. And just watch out, okay, Buster? What you want? What you want? What you want? Look at this picture I took the other day. Oh, well, that's nice. Where's that? Walking down from the high school, downtown. What no, it's going out back it? off. This is going to Papa's house. Oh. From after I hang out with my friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying to push these all together. I oh, can't really see. Let me bring it over here. Oh, yeah. What? 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 Oh yes, I got, I got some of those. Nicolina, she's seeing the Mally likes the mac and cheese ones. I only eat mac and cheese. I was just pushing it together so I don't have cheese all over the pan because you know it's gonna drizzle down in the holes. And mac and cheese. He took some out with no cheese on him for maize, so he's good. Mac and cheese. Are you going to have a hamburger? You don't have to. Like, you don't have to have... Okay. Just eat what you want, sister, but I'm just... I'm just asking. I can do what I want. Okay. Okay. That's off of the movie Barnyard, and it's hilarious. You don't know that cartoon? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do what I want. All right. This is going to go back and I should turn the broiler on. Oh, it's still on 400, but the broiler. Hi. Do it for like a couple minutes. There's two minutes and we'll see. As long as the cheese is melted, we'll be good. And this broccoli and cheese, the cheese is kind of melted back down in, but look at that. Can I see? Oh, look at it, Maze. Just look at it. Ew. This Ew. doesn't even no cranberry in it. It doesn't have cranberry in it? No. It's apple and black currant. Oh, well. I'm going to. Yeah. Just a minute, guys. I gotta get situated. but the hash brown, not hash browns, tater tots with cheese, pizza, broccoli and cheese, hamburgers, rolls and buns and butter. So my husband just got through the door too. So that's very exciting. I am probably going to have some broccoli and cheese. Somebody asked if I'm still keto and I am and um, I'm still not back to the OMAD way but I will be. Not Mace's hash browns. Oh, I keep saying hash browns. I mean tater tots. All right. Well. This pizza 
kind of got squished in the deep freezer, so it kind of fell apart a little bit in the middle, but not evenly, but it's all right. It'll work. So I said she wants the maximum amount of tater tots, but I gotta remember, there's a lot of people that still got to eat, so. Some broccoli and cheese. She says she wants a hamburger, so I need to get the ketchup out. That's quite the combination. I don't think I'm going to give her a bun right now, just because that's a lot. But Perfect. Get going, Violet. All right, friends, I had a shower. It's 527. This isn't very good lighting right now. Oh, I'm about to eat. I'm hungry. My husband brought a couple. He had a meeting today and they had a whole bunch of extra salads. And he brought a couple home. So I'm going to eat one. It came with golden Italian dressing. I'm using it. It's not very big. I could eat it in one mouthful. Shove it into a ball and stick it in my face. But this is going to be what I want. I have one hamburger patty cut up with some sugar-free ketchup, mustard, and a whole whack, a whole whack of broccoli and cheese. And there's one tater tot. I must have got caught. But that's going to be my uh, supper in a carbonated water. I'm just here editing right there. And I'm going to eat and I'm going to check back after I'm done this. All right. I have this video edited up until this very second. And I ate all my sup most of it except for that salad and this is happening now I put the salad dressing in I just shake it up hopefully it gets all over and hopefully it tastes okay but I'm gonna end this video now so I can finish editing it it's quarter after six I'll be able to have a nice visit with my husband tonight and um yeah, have a grand old time. But I do plan on filming tomorrow. It's Saturday. Dad will be out tomorrow. And I don't know what we're going to do. But if you want a place to hang out, come hang out here in Nova Scotia with us. Yes, why not? Anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So I'm dying and want to put my hair up in a knot, but I'll wait till after. And I am so tired. I feel so tired. It's probably because I just ate all that stuff. But I, if my husband wasn't home, I'd go lay in bed. But I will go down on the couch. Oh, my phone shut off for a second. But yes, I am so tired. If my husband wasn't here, I'd go lay in my bed and cuddle under a blanket. But I'm going to go downstairs 
and cuddle on the couch and he'll probably be on the other end of the couch and he is a furnace so I'm gonna stick my feet on his lap and I might read a little bit more of my book I might watch a show he's down there watching Ted Lasso he's been following that and I've seen a few episodes it's really funny I just can't invest I that's a lie I can't get hooked on to a TV show, otherwise I would be a bump. It's the same reason I don't use TikTok, because I would be a complete bump. I've learned that. I only had TikTok for like maybe a week, week and a half, and it sucked me in. And I'm just like, a good TV show sucks me in. And I like TV shows if I can binge the whole season. And I guess season 8 of Brooklyn Nine-Nine came out today. I don't know if all the episodes, I hope so, but we're going to watch that tonight, and I'm super excited because I love that show. If you've never seen it, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I don't know who's my favorite. It goes from show to show. Captain Holt's hilarious. I love his husband, Kez Kevin, and yeah, yeah, they're all funny, all funny, so anyways, yeah, um, did I say peace, love, and happiness? Yes, I did. Yeah, so anyways, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink. Boink.